guys, so, um, I purged three times today, and I don't even want to do it again. I honestly don't want to do it again, but if my mom brings back Taco Bell or something, I know I'm going to snap and I'm just going to do it. But lately, um, I don't know the reason why I do it, and I don't really want to discuss that with anyone. But, I don't know, I just, I like the food, and I like how it fills me up, but it's never enough food. And when I'm doing it, it's, it's never enough food. It's, I don't know. But, yeah, and my throat's been hurting a lot when I'm doing it. I know why, obviously, but that's just been starting now, and <laughs> I've been doing it for about five months, probably, since, like, April I've been doing it, and that's a long time, but... Yeah, and, um, I don't want the doctors to find out how much I actually weigh, because if they do, they're going to send me back to behavioral health, and if they do that, then I'm going to have to be eating normal amounts of food again, and I won't be able to purge, but I like how when I'm there, I don't purge, and when I'm at home, I, I, I just, I have the option to, like, I have the option to purge, like, I'm basically allowed to, I can just say, oh, I feel really sweating, girl, so I'm going to take a shower, then my mom would ask me if I'm going to do that one thing, and I say no, and I just, I do it, because I feel bad if I tell her that I am, and if I tell her that I am, she's going to stop me, and it just, it hurts me, and I know it hurts her when I tell her that I'm going to do it, so I just don't like to. And I know that I should call her because she has her phone with her now when she's on her bike rides because she goes on, like, cycling trips and things like that. And um, I know I have the opportunity to call her, but <clears throat> I don't want to because I want to throw up. Like, I have this, like, this urge to just do it. And I want to eat a lot and then just get rid of it because... The food tastes good, but I know I can't have it because if I do, then I'll gain all the way back that I've been trying to lose for like a year. Yeah. I think my videos might be kind of triggering because I'm still in the middle of my eating disorder. And, yeah. I'm sorry, it's taking me a while to get comfortable with the camera because usually I start talking and then I just kind of like get scared and stuff, but... It's not like you guys know me in real life. Hopefully not. That'd be pretty darn crazy. And I would be panicking because then everyone would find out about my eating disorder and stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, I've been able to put my wrist, like my hand around my wrist about that much. And I want it to be more. I want it to be like those girls on Tumblr where they, they go like this and then it goes like all the way up. And my hip bones, they haven't been showing as much as I want them to. Like, when I was at Behavioral Health, they were showing through my t-shirt. And I really liked that. But now they don't. And it just really gets to me because I feel like they should be there. And I feel like I should have them showing because they're my bones. They're underneath fat and they should be showing. But I don't know. I just just bugs me and I have like no collarbone as you can tell um yeah I have like nothing <laughs> but yeah um my elbows like I don't know I feel really stupid when I make these videos I don't know what to say but today I can talk about today um, I've had a really, really bad day. Um, I was going to try to get better. Last night I had, um, a grilled cheese sandwich and, uh, almond butter and jelly sandwich. Then, like, um, yeah, I had that. And I didn't feel guilty afterwards. I kind of wanted to get better. Like, I usually have these spurts where I just, I want to get better. And then afterwards, I'll feel like, I should have just went with my eating disorder so I can get thinner and thinner. You know, like, I have that urge to get better, and I just want to get thinner, like, the moment next after it. And it's really annoying. 
so yeah, then I woke up, and I looked in the fridge in the morning, I really tried to, like, pick something up, but I couldn't do it, I was so, like, I couldn't do it, I just, I didn't want to, I was like, no, I'm just gonna go another day without eating, it's not that bad, but it is bad, I know it's bad for me, but I feel better when I don't eat, if that makes any sense. But when I don't eat, I also get more obsessive about things, and I think more. And that's not good, because that's what drove me to the hospital in the first place. And I really don't want to go back there. So, I should be eating, but I don't really want to. But then I do want to, but only if I can throw it up afterwards. So, it's really confusing. I'm rambling and getting off track again. I'm really sorry. Um. Oh, yeah. So, this morning, I was going to have tangerine and they're like this small and we have so many left because I never eat them anymore even though they're like a total safe food they're only, they're only like 37 calories so they're totally safe but I didn't and I took my um, calcium supplement and my fish oil one but they had calories in them and it makes me feel like I ate today since I had those like technically I ate but I didn't and then um, I was supposed to I skipped lunch today, and after that, at like 1.45, I was supposed to go to an appointment with my psychiatrist, but, <clears throat> sorry, I just like purged on my throat, it's really like, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I was supposed to go to an appointment with my psychiatrist, but actually it's scheduled for next week on Wednesday or something like that, and I need to see him soon, because I'm going to go crazy if I don't, but, turns out it wasn't and my mom and I went to Subway, I got a foot long and it has salami and pepperoni on it and that just automatically like made it a purge um, session and I also had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it was actually almond butter and jelly sandwich, same thing, but yeah, and I purged that and it didn't all come up. I only purged once that time because I was like, screw it, I was so miserable at the time, had a really bad headache, everything was just, I felt such like, like a, like too, I was really dark at the time, like it felt, I don't know, I just, I felt really dark and I couldn't do it, like I just didn't want to go that far, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say, I'm sorry, it's hard to say my thoughts, I'm not used to telling people what I think of things and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I purged again on liquids. I just had um, three mochas and two of my mom's blue raspberry sports drinks, which are crazy good. And then I had some, like, cereal stuff. Um, I'm kind of happy my mom has, like, gone grocery shopping in a while because now I'm, like, at the, like, the pit of my binge food. I have, like, none left, which is a good thing because... I don't want to binge all the time and then throw it all up, you know, like, that's why my voice is so bad right now, and I'm missing not, like, going on bike rides and stuff, like, I used to be able to do that, and now I can't, because I'm so tired and exhausted, like, when I do it, I just, I can't do it, I'll save that for another video, I'm gonna go, because this video is getting kind of long and rant-like, so I'll just call this an update, and let me know how you guys are doing. You can message me anything. Follow me on Tumblr. I'm 90 thin pounds. I'm sorry if that's triggering, but when I first made my account, I just, you know, wanted to be that weight, even though it's extremely unhealthy. I'm going to go now because I'm just <laughs> seeing a lot. So, yeah. Bye.